obtain and use energy. Energy is the ability to make things change. Energy is important because it powers life processes. It provides organisms with the ability to maintain balance, grow, reproduce, and carry out other life functions. Some organisms obtain energy from the foods they eat, or in the case of plants and several other types of organisms, the foods that they produce. Organisms that get energy from the food they eat are called heterotrophs. Organisms that use energy from the sun to make their own food, which they then use for energy, are called autotrophs. The process is called photosynthesis. As you'll learn, energy doesn't just flow through individual organisms. It also flows through communities of organisms or ecosystems and determines how organisms interact with each other and the environment. So energy is the ability to do work. It's the ability to make things change. Um, and it powers all of life processes. Anything you can think of that you do, that you're aware, like you have to like consciously do, like eat, even the things that just subconsciously happen, like uh, your heart beating, all of that requires energy. So we, this is just a quick review from last year. Organisms that obtain energy from the foods they eat, things they have to eat, like us, we are called consumers or heterotrophs. Then there are things like plants that are producers, and uh, they are autotrophs. They get their energy from the sun through a process called photosynthesis. Uh, we'll talk a little more about photosynthesis in depth this year. We'll look at the actual like, chemical equation. We'll talk about how it's related to respiration because a lot of people, I saw whenever I was working at the high school that a lot of kids knew what photosynthesis was, but they didn't know what cellular respiration was. And cellular respiration is just as important as photosynthesis. So I want you to know those things, or at least be aware of them by the time that you leave me. So we'll talk about that this year. Um, and then we talked about, just right down here, really quickly, it says that organisms use energy from the sun to make their food. Their autotrophs, it's photosynthesis. Energy doesn't just flow through individual organisms. So it flows through all of the organisms, and it helps decide like how organisms are going to interact with each other. And their environment and we'll talk about that as the year goes on so define energy we'll say based on the definition we have here the ability to make things change number 23 why is energy important to a living organism it says that in the second sentence it powers life processes very important you couldn't have life if you didn't have energy number 24 what is the difference between an autotroph and a heterotroph? This is a review from last year. It's up here in the paragraph as well. Autotroph eat their own food, while heterotrophs must consume food from a different source. And number 25, what is the name of the process that plants use to make their own food using energy from the sun? I hope you never, ever forget it. We talked about it last year. We'll talk about it a lot this year, and it is in this paragraph. That is photosynthesis.